Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to define a new website in Adobe Dreamweaver. We're going to go up to this menu bar, click Site, New Site, and we're going to toggle to the Advanced tab. There's also a Basic tab, but I don't like that as well because it doesn't give you as much control over your settings. So under this Local Info category, we're going to give the site a new name. Now the actual name in this site name box has no bearing on how Dreamweaver connects to your website. It just is a name for you to recognize the site by in the files list. So we're going to say maybe my new site. And in the local root folder, this is where Dreamweaver will save all of your web pages to upload to the remote server. So everything will be saved right here in this local root folder. So put that somewhere where you can easily locate it and where it will be safe. Um, for the purposes of the video, I'm going to put it on the desktop, but I don't ordinarily recommend keeping sensitive files on your desktop. So select a new folder and just call it My New Site. Open. And you can see here's the path and put this path in again and say for the images folder you're going to create a new file folder and you can see it's under the my new site category you want it to be underneath that local root folder call it images open and there's your default images folder um, HTTP address you can see there's an HTTP prefix here already add the www dot and the name of your website, or the domain. Uh, for the purpose of the video, I'll call it mynewsite.com. Then we're going to go over to this remote info category. Right now it says access none, but you're going to want to click access FTP. The FTP host is usually just your domain name, which is the domain name without the HTTP www prefix. So for the example, it would be mynewsite. Dot com. Uh, you can usually leave the host directory field blank unless there's a reason not to. Now the login and password. Now when you created this website when you originally bought it and put it on your hosting server you probably specified a username and password for this particular site. Those are the login credentials Dreamweaver wants right here. So put in the username and the password and click test and if it's successful, if you put the login and password in correctly, you'll see a dialog box that says Adobe Dreamweaver has successfully connected to your website. Click OK to save the settings and you can see in this right panel here under files there's the site and the images folder. If you cannot see this window, go up here to window and click files and it will appear in this right hand side. And that's pretty much all you need to know to set up a basic website in Dreamweaver. Thanks for watching.